Good morning. June 24th. It's about 7.45 in the morning. About to hop into the, the Red House here at Mountain Harbor for what is, again, rumored to be perhaps one of the best breakfasts on the entire Appalachian Trail. Uh, slept awesome last night. Slept awesome last night. But don't know if uh, you could all hear too much. I did some recording, and of course, the country music was playing. A lot of it got you know garbled out. But I will say that uh, this place is pretty cool. Uh, let me flip you around here real quick. So here's the. Again, I'm back on the porch up at the at the Red House, which I'm gonna walk out of here and kind of get a little bit more of a view of what's going on. Yeah, all kinds of shuttles to bring you pretty much anywhere you need. Again, when I went up to uh, Hughes Gap again, they brought me up in a Cadillac limo. But, uh, got a stream running through the property. It's a pretty nice one. Uh, the yellow trailer is their food truck. It is awesome. Um, got a nice little uh, seating area outside here at the, you know, the, the bunkhouse, the cabin. Little deck out the back there. I always slept right about here in the upper loft area. There's four bunks up there. Uh, we go around the side and the front down there, right beneath that little cupola is actually a pretty solid little resupply. Um, a big old hemlock tree here. I don't know how I didn't notice that last night, but uh, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna hop in here for breakfast, uh, do a bit more of a check-in uh, once I've eaten. Got to be out of here by 10 o'clock. Not sure how many miles I'm going to do today. But I'm going to do some walking anyway. Uh, if nothing else, I'm going to get up to Mountaineer Falls. Um, maybe a little bit past Mountaineer Falls. We'll see what that's all about. See if it's full. And then uh, make my decision tomorrow. Because my plan is to be at Boots Off Hostel in Hampton um, in two days. It might be three. But... You know, my feet are feeling good right now. Um, I don't know what the climb is going to be. I know there's a pretty steep climb out of the, the gap here at, at US-19, which actually runs right there. As you can see, the semi coming through and the rental. But, uh, yeah, so we start hiking and go back down by the red log there. There's a little path that kicks back up and goes down to uh, the trailhead. So, anyway gonna have breakfast here and I'll get back with you in a little while okay so that breakfast was incredible biscuits and gravy breakfast tacos quiche if you wanted it muffins sausage kibasa eggs potatoes everything made right there oh and a cherry cheesecake strudel that was pretty awesome so I ate really well. I am going to let this food settle for a little bit while I pack up the rest of my gear for the day. It is about 8.45. And yeah, so do a quick rundown of everything here. So like I was saying earlier, that is the, the red house. That's the, the actual like bed and breakfast side of things. Um, this is the outside of the bunk house here. This is the nice covered porch that you can just hang out at to eat. And there's a little fire pit over here. That was going last night. Nice little water features that they up in here. And like I was saying before, this uh, this little creek runs right through here. Right underneath the, uh, the deck while we're eating food. So, yeah, like I was saying earlier, I gotta go back out that way. Uh, it's a short little Bop back out to uh, 19E, and then you go up 0.2 miles and then back to the trailhead. Um, but yeah, nothing else I can really say for right now. Um, you know what? That's not a bad idea. They got chargers out here if you need them. I'm probably gonna do a quick charge while I'm getting the rest of my stuff set up. So I'll get back with you when there's something to see. Okay, I'm about 98% done with the first climb of the day. Got to head up the trail. You can obviously see it up that way. 
think cuts off to the right where that uh, little post is. But the main reason I stopped here is because I got the first view, first view of the day. Turn around. That over there is their own highlands. It's actually most of what I was climbing up and over yesterday. So I go back a little ways over here. So I'll look on the other way past this big old dead black locust tree. Another view to the other side. So we're just on the saddle right now, just checking things out. Nice breeze, beautiful sunny day. Feels good to be back on the trail. I love this. I say it every day. I don't care. I love this. Bushwhack through some of this tall grass here. This screams ticks to me, but I'll check myself later. Okay, so I just crossed, uh, yeah, I was just right down there, followed that signpost that actually, let me try and zoom in there. Out oh, the flew away. Darn. Looks like there was a indigo bunting or a eastern mountain bluebird up there for a while. But anyway, so I cross over here. I'm looking at this tree and I'm thinking, you know what? That's not an oak. I mean, you look at the, the trunk and all the branches. I mean, it's, it's a very oaky profile, let's be honest. But this is not an oak tree. This is actually pretty cool. I doubt many people would even stop and look. This is uh, pretty much the largest member of the American uh, Magnolia family. This is a cucumber tree. I didn't think I'd see one of these up here. See the little bud. Oh, 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 there it is. Right there in the center. Let me zoom in. That little bud right there. That is essentially the fruiting body, the flower and everything of this tree. But this thing is gigantic. It's probably 40 foot tall, maybe 60, 70 foot wide trunk on it's probably about a foot in diameter or a uh, <laughs> foot in diameter much bigger than that it's about four foot in diameter and uh i only noticed again because of the white blaze so i stopped and looked but this craggy old beast this is a cool tree a really cool tree gigantic member of the american magnolias pretty much the biggest uh, it's found, I'm pretty sure, just in the eastern United States. But that's cool. That's really cool. Wow. I've never actually seen one outside. Outside of a garden. That thing's huge. Anyway, I'm going to keep walking up and over. Got a few more miles to go for the day. Well, at least 10 more miles, but whatever. I'm just walking one foot in front of the other. Just got to climb this little crest here and downhill for a ways. And I'll stop in when I see the next special thing. There's a lot of this going on today. Super tall grass. Walking through meadows. There's a house over there. Just past the cemetery not too long ago. It's a very populated area we're hiking through right now. Not exactly remote, but still pretty. Very pretty. So another one of those. That's a church right there. So it's another one of those cucumber trees. They're actually more common than I thought. There's another one right here. Now that I know what to look for. That's cool. Really neat finding stuff like that, too. Yeah. Yeah, bop across this uh, road right here. Go where other white blaze is over there. One miles an hour on that corner. Well, I don't think they'll have to worry about me going that fast. And we 
get back down, switch back right there, and go back into the woods. So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll see what comes up next. Well, I said I'd get back with you, and the next special thing came along, and I just did it. 400 miles. 400 miles down. I'm gonna count the one that somebody made with sticks because somebody else graffitied up this tree a little bit and I'm not cool with that. So, find the trail markers made out of sticks or stones and yeah, it's a great day. I'm gonna keep walking because I think I'm coming up really close on something else that's pretty special, so I'll bring you back when I get there. I think I can hear it already, but you'll know what I'm talking about in just a few. Jones Falls, everybody. That's what I told you I could hear from the top. I'm gonna get a picture or two and then I'm gonna get somewhere you can probably hear me better. But yeah, Jones Falls is pretty. Well, I made it to Mountaineer Falls. Apparently there's a little path up there where you can go and dunk yourself. I'm already too wet for that, but it comes right down here. Ends right beside me. A little bit of a water source. Lots of rocks and they're covered moss. But yeah, so doing pretty good today. Making a good pace. I'm gonna stop up here at the, uh, the Mountaineer Falls shelter. I think it's on like point two or whatever, point three maybe. Just to have something to eat. And then I'm going to keep walking because I just kind of feel like walking today. I kind of want a tent on my own. It's been a while since I did that. So we'll keep getting up here and I'll up update you when things change. Yeah, so this ain't even a bad shelter. This is the... Uh... Mountaineer Falls Shelter. I know it's got the graffiti board on this side. It's a nice uh, double decker. Looks like it's fairly well maintained. Uh, you probably fit 12, 14 people in here. But yeah, not a bad place. Nobody's here, surprisingly. Figured this would be a popular place for anybody who's gonna be camping here or stand, you know, day hiking or whatever. Uh, probably give it a solid 7 out of 10. And I only say that because the sheer amount of garbage around here is appalling. I mean, there's smart water, Gatorade bottles, you know, trash, trash. There's Gatorade bottles down there. It's just... People do not respect what they have here at all. And it's sad to see, it really is. But still all in all, it's a good place. Again, only a seven out of 10 because not only garbage, but again, we're in Tennessee, so there's no privies either. But I am going to have some meat here. I'm gonna pack my garbage out and then uh, keep going because the day is still relatively young. Um, I wanna say it's about 3.30 or so right now. So, we shall see what we see when we see it. Little well, nut hatches watching me eat lunch. <laughs> A couple more of them out here too. Yep, a couple more up on that tree. Sometimes you just get the feeling you're being watched and you look over and you are. Oh. 
cinnamon honey bun. And the spam single here in a second. And yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Good lunch. Great day. Great day. Yep. Well, clearly I'm hiking again. I had to stop because I just found something good. Right here, these are oyster mushrooms. And there's a few there. Um, huh. It's kind of a pity that I don't have any cooking oil or anything on me. Because I would love to fry those up tonight. I might pick a few, chuck them in a Ziploc and see what I can do. Maybe. Uh, no, I'm gonna leave these ones. Maybe somebody else will come out behind me and they'll get lucky and see them because oysters are delicious. But yeah, since I don't have a frying pan and I don't have any butter or oil on me, yeah, not worth it. Well, it's worth it, but it's not worth it. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep hiking. Got about 3.3 left to go to my first goal for the day. See what time I get there. It's about four o'clock right now. See what time I get there and then uh, maybe push on some more. I don't know, I'm winging it at this point. And I'm cool with that for right now. So we'll keep going. I found myself a nice little bench to sit on for a few minutes. And uh, kind of seems like he's going full circle. Is that uh, is the bottom half of um, Hump Mountain and Little Hump Mountain and Grassy Ridge uh, Bald right out that way. So <sighs> all of yesterday's exertions, and I've wrapped around and I'm looking at it all again. <laughs> Yesterday was a great day. Today's a great day. So 12.3 so far. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more mile tonight. It'll get me down to Upper Laurel Fork. It's a, a creek that apparently has some tenting nearby. Cause I kinda wanna sleep next to a creek tonight. And I'm definitely not gonna make it the next few miles up to the next shelter. So we're gonna just sit down for a little bit here, enjoy the breeze because it feels amazing. And then I gotta get up and finish my walking for the day. So hang tight and I'll get back with you. Okay, this is Upper Laurel Fork. Across this little footbridge here. Yeah, yeah, I think this is gonna work. Yeah, this is gonna work. I'm gonna set up right down here tonight. Yeah, right next to the water. No roots, no rocks. Hell yeah. And with this babbling stream next to me, I'm gonna sleep like a baby. I'll get set up, then I'll check back in. Okay, so this is home for the evening. <sighs> and what a beautiful spot this is. Man, this is gorgeous. And that ain't bad for a view out my back door for sunset. It's probably gonna get real good here in about an hour or so. But I'm gonna rest my knees rest my feet, get some water, cook myself a nice dinner, appreciate the wonder, not the drying raincoat, but the wonder and the beauty that is literally all around me here. These old hemlocks mixed in with poplars and a whole bunch of rhododendrons. There's a beautiful section of woods. 
And like I always say, thank you very much for following me along on this adventure. It means so much to me. And when you get a chance, make sure you do it for yourself as well. It's never too late to follow your dreams. But make sure you do it before it is too late. I'll relax for a bit. I might check in a bit later. All right, so it is the end of the day. I'm all bundled up. It got chilly down here right next to the creek. It's kind of nice, so I'm going to sleep pretty well. But, uh, yeah, so i got a long day. It's going to be a long day tomorrow, one way or the other. Um, but did 12.8 today in total. Uh, was actually only a half mile down here from um, that view spot with the bench instead of a mile. Uh, gut hooks just didn't update in time when I was looking at it. But it's all good. I'm uh, going to get to bed early. Uh, sun just set. It's about 8.45 uh, right now. Probably closer to 9 o'clock, I bet. Um, but I'm just going to go to sleep early, wake up early, probably about 5.30. Um, I want to be hiking again no later than 7 o'clock. Um, I'd probably be hiking again by about 6.45, 6.30. Um, up and over. Okay, you know, up and over, going to try and get to uh, Hampton, Tennessee tomorrow. Um, I think it's going to be like 20.5 miles to get where I'm going. So, yeah, it's going to be a long day. Um, but you're going to be the first person to know as soon as I figure out what I'm doing. But have a great night, and I'll catch you tomorrow.